Oh, hello there, minions of technology. My name is Tim Lee. Welcome back to Legacy Studio and another episode of Mist Revelations, my sponsored, non sponsored drink of choice. I wish it was sponsored because I love Dr. Pepper. That's what I'm going to be using today. Well, I hope you're ready for more gameplay as we work our way through Mist Revelation. I'm excited ish. Actually, I'm, I'm actually excited. We actually got somewhere in the last episode, which means I feel like I can continue forward with a little bit more. So we're going to get into this here in just a second, but I finally get to do something that I should have done in the last episode. I made you a promise, and I know I'm not good at keeping my promises, but humongous thanks. Humongous? Humongous thanks. Huge thanks to my amazing legacy historians, Tony Allen, Sean Hammond, and William Poneth, thank you so much for sticking around, being a ginormous support to me, truly. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And each one of my legacy historians not only has stuck around when they're not getting what they are owed, early access, along, as well as everyone else who joins us, but then, of course, all the other perks that legacy historians are supposed to get, and yet they're still supporting at that level. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm also going to shout out very quickly all of our amazing Dorka historians and early access historians, because there's a few names here I do not recognize. And uh, I appreciate everyone who's here. So, Carol Bocamp, TOS, Wolves Bane Network, Michael Morton, always a support, Michael Morton, Charles Sutherland, Thomas Franklin, and Terror Bites. Also, early access historians Jeremy Zeppelin, 198, drawing illustrations and art came over from my other YouTube channel. Thank you so much, my friend. I recognize you. Collins S. Andre, v well, Colin S. Collins S. That's just repetitive. Anyway, uh, Andre V. Albert Babylon, Lord of the Lost. Albert Fork, uh, Fourline. I almost said Forkline. A little different. Mark Glynn. <laughs> Matt Suss, not Seuss, just an account. Derek Wildstar Faith Focals, my awesome sister, and Paper Coder Gaming. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, everyone, for supporting my channel in this very interesting time. You can see I have Death by Sugar on the uh, work today that I will be working on. I'm even playing one of my old videos in the background. I have been working so hard on my paintings. Let's go ahead and get into the game. Now, you guys know what I like to do. I like to read your comments before we get started, so that is exactly what we're going to do now as we get into the game here. We'll go ahead and load up the uh, game screen here. That way you can feel like we're getting into something. And let me go ahead and read through our comments from our last episode, episode number 23. The Joyful Dragon says, Honestly, I love Spire. I just wish the rest of the game was as good. Akinar, Aknar and Cirrus... I see, I got it right. Cirrus's uh, stories are pretty decent, but they're wrapped in the rest of the story, which isn't as good. Uh, no spoilers from Luke Walk 1. Uh, click to read more hints and timestamps. 2610, four satellites on the panel. What do they correspond to? When I first saw them, I was like, oh, what? That's. Um, oh, that is mean. Uh, XD, who is going to notice that, by the way? XD's like, smiley face kind of thing. So. We'll go back and look at that again. 2918, where else have we seen these? Should be obvious, obviously. <laughs> Thank you so much, Luke. Uh, Aber Babylon, Lord of the Lost, says, Woohoo! Welcome back, buddy. Thank you so very much. And then uh, the awesome Sh Sean Hammond, a ginormous support and one of our major legacy historians right now, says, Love to hear that you and your family are doing well. It's a shame about your other channel being demonetized. Thank you. I appreciate that. But if it led to renewing the fun and passion in the videos you do make, uh, then at least there's that silver lining. It's great to see you back, but definitely don't worry about taking the time to focus on things that need to be focused on. We'll be here. I appreciate that. Thank you so very much. Regarding the game, you've uh, accessed the Spider Throne that looks like it's going to stab you to death when you sit in it. Uh, some say that this is the most difficult puzzle in the game. Not entirely sure I agree, though. I can see where they're coming from. It is complex, but you have access to all the information you need to solve it. I love when people tell me that information. Uh, now, it's just a matter of bringing all the pieces together. Hints below. We're going to look at them anyway. Here we go. Number one. The solution to the puzzle sprawls out across the whole age. Information about what you need to know and do is scattered everywhere. Eh. Pay attention to your notes and the pictures you've taken. Think about what things the game is suggesting are important, but that you haven't used yet. Yeah, like weights and measures. I have a feeling that's a big important thing. I hate when math comes into play. I have a feeling math's going to come into play. I don't like math. 
unlike many of the other puzzles in the game, this one requires you to think of it holistically, if not just an answer you can find somewhere. Experiment and try to understand how the machine works. How does it fit into the world? What kinds of things would Cirrus have had to take into account if this were built in the real world? Ugh, no fun. Okay, anyway. The Thrones panel has many switches, levers, and indicators. Each one has a specific purpose or is signi uh, signifying a specific thing. Think about what those can be. When you understand all the information it's showing you, you're not far off from the next step of knowing what to do. I have no idea why I did him in an accent. I've never met Sean, but the accent just feels right in this moment in time, so I went with it. Okay, let's get into the game, my friends. Thank you so much, everybody. It's time to start the terror of getting back into the game. So let's, uh, let's do just that. Let me switch mice here over to my gaming PC, and the story... Once again, begins at the other slide. Let's see where we end up here as I take a sip of my non-sponsored drink of choice. Actually, thankfully, I'm very happy that we are still within this chair. I'm going to take this down to the bottom floor again. And the reason why I'm mainly doing that is because I want to um, go to where the system is apparently fully functional. And we'll begin processing through all the junk that there is to figure this thing out. Um, I did figure out something, though. I, I, I'm glad I noticed this. This did not have power on our main screens upstairs, for lack of a better choice of words. This resembles that. I would assume that this right here, this whole nine yards thing here, has to do with... I wanted to say this, but I don't think it's this. I'm leaning towards this being in response to all the jewels, I'm calling them jewels, all the crystals upstairs that are up there already. Oh, that's interesting. Look how that says 36. I've never noticed that before. That says 11. That says 4. I've never n noticed that before. That's interesting. And since I'm here, I'm going to take pictures of everything. Now, something else to note is, why does this look slightly brighter and on than all the rest of them? That's the first thing. The second thing is, where's these little one, two, three, four? Oh... Oh? One, two, three, four. I thought this represented floors. What floor we could go to. Which means there's a lower floor, and the only way to get there, if I'm understanding correctly, is to actually have access to all these crystals first. The other thing that we're noticing here is that there is no crystal here which I would assume would represent a weight involved. Each one of these is going to represent a weight. That is a crystal, I assume. I'm assuming I'm going to have to use math at this. I hate math. I'm an artist. I graduated with honors, but that's because I was a good artist in my opinion. I was homeschooled. My mommy liked me. What do I do? Um, blue crystal. So I need to go figure out what each one of these ways, per se, what their range is. This is also very unfortunate, how they seem to be different colors. So I think the, oh, that's mean, represents this. <laughs> Thank you so much for your comment. You can tell where my head is focused. This represents the sounds. Or the frequencies that we are aware of. And it's like a low, medium, high sort of thing. Now, low, medium, high, there's three, one, two, three, four of this 
one, two, three, four. So there's a frequency for every floor, is my theory. So as we're upstairs, maybe I should be listening for a specific floor. Uh, a specific sound when I am on those floors. And then try to match them for each one. And doing that would maybe lock this down a bit more. I also see these lines. And 36, 11, and 4. I do not know what that represents. How many did we say these were? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, I want to say it's 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35? Because if it's 36, then this would represent how many crystals we need to get down to that floor. So if we did not have all these crystals unlocked, here's, an, here's another theory. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Look at this little line right here. This little line equals 11. We can go down to this floor because there's 11. There's 4 here. There's 4 there. So this represents getting down to that floor. This one doesn't have one because it's at the very top doesn't require any power to be there. 36 would represent how many of these we need to have to get down to the 36th floor. I, I mean, in my opinion, that seems to be what I'm thinking about here. So, so far I'm okay with it. Now, this little doohickey thing is interesting. I'm not sure if that's supposed to represent anything. I can't reach down to pull the lever that's just below the bottom of my wrist there. Or can I? Nope. I don't see anything else, and I'm not about to count all these crystal thingies. Do they represent something? Do they represent a weight, a measure, something of that nature? Where's Mommy and Daddy? Mommy and Daddy are up one floor. They have a whole bunch of numbers that consist of something. We apparently have all the information we need in my camera. And yet I still feel like I have the need to go and look around a bit more or to go and power the crystals upstairs to have more power down here. Well, let's... Go ahead and go with the hints that you guys have so kindly given. By the way, is my camera showing me properly? I feel like I'm leaning forward an awful lot. There we go. All right. So let's start making some very challenging notes here. I mean, obviously, you can make notes here. Now, you see this, this, for instance. Strong earthquake like tremors in a lab when two of... Harmonics listed in musical chart were played. Could I be close to finding a usable frequency? Lab, mostly rock. Rock represents a weight. Lab. Lab. Oh, wrong keyboard. Sorry. Lab, mostly rock. What weight is rock? And it also said two harmonics. Two harmonics. Okay. Why is this important? We have rocks. We have rooks. We have no one cares. Because it's probably super important and I have no idea. This... I feel like we have power to all three of those stones. But if you look, there's two crystals up top that are still not generating power. But does it matter? We have all the crystals on the left-hand side doing what they're supposed to be doing. 
we have the majority crystals on the left-hand side doing what they're supposed to be doing, but there's one area that is not receiving power, and that is that one pawn. And, and I can't point at it except right here. I'll put my magnifying glass on it. That pawn, or whatever, which represents that room with all the beams that we're in right now, or whatever that... There is no additional information here except that we have two crystals on the upper floor that are not lit right now. And if we lit them, I don't think it would make a difference. Because it has nothing to do with where we are here. That's my theory. Moving on. We've unlocked that. We've unlocked that. I don't think we need this anymore. I'm going to be dangerous. I'm going to delete that one. This. I don't think that one is important to us anymore. I'm, I'll, I don't think it's going to be important to us. We have the mark. We have the power that's already there. I think we're good. Same with this. This crystal's broken. This is where I'm confused. Is this supposed to represent the weights? Which one is heavier than the other? Rock is heavier than that. Maybe I should be writing this down. Um, on normal paper and not on the game because I think I'm at the point where I probably should. So I'm assuming that rock is the heaviest. So it's either rock is the heaviest or rock is the lightest. So we'll assume rock is the heaviest first. And then in order from the rock, we have the clear crystal, the blue crystal, and I'm going to call it the green crystal. We know in the chair that we are missing a green crystal. So if we're supposed to evenly spread out across three different beams to, to, uh, to what's the word we're looking for? This literally right here, exactly what we're looking for. And take a look. 4, 11... And then they have an X down where 36 should be. Let's double check that count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We know that's correct. 13, 4, uh, uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 30. There are 36 crystals there. So... Nera is stronger than any other substance. We'll need all of the power keyboard can take. Will even that be enough? So if we were to look at the rook on the chessboard, we know that the rook is made of rock. So the rook, or the knight, depending on um, how you play chess, uh, the rook is a, is a rock. That is supposed to represent the heaviest. Nera is stronger than any other substance. We'll need all the power the keyboard can take. So the rock, we'll put that at 100%. Moving on. Every partially successful rock test suggests that 20 units of power total, no more, no less. Must find a way of dividing more accurately across three cables. So once again, that changes the plan, because every rock test suggests 20 units of power. So rock test suggests 20 units of power. My pen's running out of ink. <sighs> but in what combination? Garbage! Okay, let's see if I have another pen here. All right. But in what combination? Why would the combination matter? Must find a way of dividing more accurately across three cables. Dividing more accurately across 
three cables. Okay. All right, moving on. Are you proud of me? Am I starting to get things? Are you, are, are you getting excited yet? Have I gotten to that point? Am I there? Am I there? Do you like me? <laughs> okay. Um, okay, what's this? So, once again, we have no... Oh, that's a completely different age. That has nothing to do with us. So let me scroll back to where we're back with Cirrus. Oh, whoops. Why did I write 23 on this one? Why did I write 23? That's weird. Blue crystal tests. Results are conclusive. We have the answer. Need to supply keyboard with total electricity gathered in garden and docking station only to disrupt these samples. Docking station... Uh, need to supply keyboard with total electrical electricity gathered in garden and docking station. Garden, which technically I think is green um, gem because he made those. And docking station. Now, he's saying only to disrupt the sample. So if we're going to activate that thing's power, blue crystal technically should activate. At this point, I'm assuming that they're like a lock or something, and we have to trigger them to stay on to properly do that. Okay. I feel like I'm I feel like I'm getting somewhere. And and look at this as well. In each one of these, there's the stone. I mean not the stone, but the green crystal that he, he handmade. Here's the blue crystal. Here's the rock. So technically, we are given the majority of the information, assumably, that we would need. So let's go ahead and go back here. Or should I say presumably? I think that would be fairer to say. Now, we need only the power. Oh. Okay. Okay. We know one other factor, and that is that the cables that run from the controls upstairs, which I might have to go back to now that I say this because I don't think I have pictures of them, those cables actually have colors of each of the crystals on them. So if I was to go to the two control units, I could figure out what cables running out of them and know which ones to trigger here. I don't want to leave this. I feel like I'm really close to solving... Not solving this. I don't think I'm that close. But I don't exactly want to leave here. I feel like I could actually make some more progress here before having to go all the way back. But I'm going to go ahead and... Oops. I'm going to go ahead and go back. I said all the way up, didn't I? All the way up. So, are you proud of me? I feel I feel like I I feel like I'm walking into this with a little bit more information than than I have had previously. Previously, okay. So we'll get out of freaky chair. And these, there's one that goes into there. These. This th this works because this is on. So we're good there. 
And and I guess that's rock. There's blue. Oh, green, blue. I'm assuming that's clear. Green, blue, and clear. I don't think rock repre is represented in this. That's my theory, anyway. Um, let's roll upstairs here. Um, um, um. I'm not stuck down here, am I? No, here it comes. Okay. I like taking the slide, though. It's more fun. So, I feel like I wrote it down somewhere previously on, on what those cables represent, but we're going to check. And, and I think it's fair to suggest that the garden is the green cable, but we're going to just verify this very quickly. Just to make sure. Which I feel like I'm wasting my time by doing this, but in any case, I think it's fair to properly assess the situation. So, here's our garden. We're in the garden. All the power, all green, everywhere, as far as the eye can see, but I do not see a cable, however. I don't see a cable. Am I blind? I do not see a cable going out of here. So, I'm looking just to make sure. I was expecting to see a random cable running out of here. Now, there's a cable there, but no cables represented over here. So, let me go to the control panel that's over here. Right? There is a control panel here, isn't there? Or is it on a different floor? Alright, so... Let me... Uh, apparently I'm on the wrong floor. So, let me... Well, before I say that, let me run over here. Just checking everything. God knows that I am very good at just assuming things. Okay, so, blue cable going up there. Blue cable goes this way into this machine. So, blue cable is on the second floor. And is represented with whatever this shape is. So I'm going to draw out this shape. with what looks like three birds under it or something of that nature. One, two, three. Okay. All right. Now, that's blue. We have that done. Now, oh, we're on the top floor? I thought we were on the second floor. Oh, the ship's there. Uh, I don't think we need to touch this. Oh. Interesting. I don't want to touch it, admittedly. I'm going to close... Mm, but we know that it needs... We need to turn all of these off, technically. Right? To power this properly. Oh, I don't want to touch it. I don't want to touch it. Oh, I don't want to touch it. <sighs> Bye, shippy. All right. Reactivate. Let's see if I can remember how this goes. All right. That's two. Nope. I'm, 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 I'm not going to let it. I'm going to try and get back to square one a little quicker. So this way... This way, and then this way. There. Okay, technically those are all going to be lit now, or turned off. Okay, we're going to 
pretend that that is what was supposed to happen. Okay, I hope I... Oh. Oh! Oh, look, 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 look! Interesting that that runs up there like that. I'm gonna leave that and hope I didn't absolutely screw this up. Oh, I hope I didn't screw this up. And then what is this? Why is this important? Is there something I need to be aware of there? Part of me wants to immediately run downstairs and see if I've made any kind of progress just in this moment. But let me see. Before I get moderately excited. Oh, okay. So I'm on the second floor. That's the third floor. So uh, blue is third floor. And just for giggles, I'm going to mark this four crystals on that one. Now, let's go down. Okay. So this is the launch pad. The cable color isn't represented there. That could be clear, but we can't really tell. I'm leaning towards that being clear. Uh, is there anything here? No. Um, oh. Mm, I can't really tell. Let me open up the book and see what the book says now. Oh. Okay, I don't like this. We've supplied all of our power here. But what happened over there? How did that happen? I don't like that. Why would... We only affect those by... Uh. Maybe I don't need that anymore. Maybe that's partially the thing. but one. I, I mean, I feel like it's supposed to be all the power, but then at the same time, blue only needs 20 units of power, which, what would 20 units of power represent? So, and I know I'm doing this blind, but, like, I, I should be doing the math on this, and I'm just clicking buttons like crazy, but still, Four, two, one. Oh, I've done this so many times I got notes up the wazoo of this stuff. Four, two, four. That's going to take away two. I'm working on it. Did we get what color this was? I don't know, but we need this. We need all the power from the garden and the docking station. This is the docking station. Only. So I need all of this. Right? I feel like I need all of this.
I think the thing that comes to my mind is he didn't need to build all of this to get over there. This was his doing. Everything he needed is underneath him. The docking station was his doing. All right, hang on. So, that takes us four. So we got three. I know I've done this so many times, but it's been a while. Four. Minus two. Back up four. Oh, no, wait. That's not what I meant to do. Minus two. And so I need to know what that one is really quick. So I, don't, I hang on. Hang on. There's one. I feel like that's just supposed to be one, but I don't know. So, let me close this. Okay. Up four. Three, two. This is going to be plus one. Yep, so one. I have two more moves. That's minus two. Plus four. Ah! So how do I get seven? In how many moves do I get? One, two, three, like four moves? So let me do this again. So, one, two, three, four. So I get five moves. In five moves. Boy, this looks like an algebra equation. And I've done it before. I, I know I've done it before. We've lit this whole thing up. As far as I know, I don't know if this requires power from up top. I don't remember. I don't think it does. But hearing that I need all the power from this only, I feel like it tells me everything I should do. I'm going to leave this like this, because part of me thinks the only way to get the extra is to have... What floor am I on? Um, I'm on the lowest floor, so I might need to have a crystal from up above to do that. Um, I just want to see what's affected now. What have I screwed up or made better just in this moment? So, I'm going to leave this be. Interesting how this is... The opposite. So this is third floor. Or negative third floor. It's the bottom floor, right? Aren't we on the bottom floor? We're on the bottom floor. The middle floor is his area. This, I'm scared to look at the book because... I feel like we're going to see even more of the crystals from the other side off. We're still missing the one. I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna go down and look at what. What was this way? This is the slide that comes from the top. 
right? So we can't go out that way because that's the slide that basically leads us here and starts off the journey, right? I think I think that sounds right. So I'm going to go ahead go back up these these steps and in here now we'll go ahead and take the crystal downstairs or the slide if you will in the bedroom which is over here and I thought it was oh that's not his bedroom where's his bedroom I thought his bedroom was on this floor, but maybe not. Well, you know what? I'm not going to waste my time looking for a slide when I know another way to get down there, very obviously, since we opened up the door. So, let me go ahead and run over this way. And we'll be civilized and we'll take the elevator. Okay. I just want to see what I did. What, what damage have I caused? Because... Come on. Thank you. Oh, no, wait. I'm going the wrong way. Am I going the wrong way? Why would I want to go up? What was up? I forget what up is. I don't think up matters to me. I think down matters to me. So I think up was an accident that I did from previous. So what we need to do is we need to go down. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, yeah. So we need to go down. We need to go down, 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 down. There we go. I just want to see how many crystals are on down on the bottom floor now. How close are we to that 36 we need to go to the bottom floor? It's pretty cool graphics. I still say that. Pretty cool graphics considering what we're looking at here. All right. <clears throat> I mean, the lighting, everything. I can't even begin to imagine how the animators actually... So what does this mean? There's not a red, unless that represents rock. Rock, paper, scissors. Anyway, let's see if this guy still works or not. Okay, he still works. Are we going to see anything? Oh. Go, 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 go. I feel like that's more than before. I feel like... Mm, is it more than before? How many are left? Uh, let me... Let me... Two, three, four. See, I still think there's a fourth floor. Oh, look. That's changed colors. Why? I can't say that I've heard anything. I haven't been listening for frequency tones, admittedly. I do think my th first theory is correct, though, that the need to have everything lit is going to be important. Okay, now, there's only three of these, but there's four crystals. We need to figure out the frequency tone of each of these crystals. Rock, for instance. Rock is going to take 100% of what? There's nothing tied in to these. Okay. 
So if I don't have them all unlocked, I can't utilize all the crystals. There's still... I wish I could see this closer. One, two, three, four. I want to say that's five. There might be a sixth there. I can't tell. Well, here we know. This is 36. 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. That's a very interesting number, a very specific number. A number like all of these right here combined to make up 11. So 11 are left over at this point in time. So if 11 are left over at this point in time, my question right now is if I went back up to the book, that's changed. Look at this. On this floor, look at this. So what's up one floor? What's it look like up one floor? I gotta learn to sit up straight or I keep slouching far too much. <laughs> yep, that's different. Hmm. Now, is everything deactivated? No. That's different. So the lower we get, whatever that blue stands for, I'm not sure. Unless it stands for blue crystal? No, blue crystal, because there's only, like, what? Three colors clear, blue, and, well, there's rock. So here's my theory now. Now I'm going to go back upstairs, and I'm going to check out the book again, and I'm going to see how many of the crystals are off upstairs. If I can count 11 somehow, then I will have a connection of what I need to do, I think. Kind of, sort of. I'm at, we're already 47 minutes in, and I am not very far from having much additional information. So this might be a bubkiss video. But hopefully I've at least annoyed you guys enough to make you come back for more. <laughs> if you have liked this, I would appreciate it if you hit subscribe and even consider supporting the channel financially. Though, at this moment in time, you won't get anything in return except my enduring love. That's about the gist of it for right now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, let's go and take a look. Um... Since down here is my main problem right now, I'm going to run down here and I'll look at the book down here and see how many of these are not lit. Nope, that doesn't work. 5, 10, 15, 19 are not lit over here. So is this where we're dealing with weights and measures on how much a crystal is weighted in comparison to a blue crystal in comparison to rock? which I hate that that math is even a thing. And then the fact that I would probably have to look at everything to be like, okay, I have to figure out what this is in comparison to this and this and that. I just don't want to do that, but maybe that's where we're at. And apparently if this is the hardest... Hmm. If this is the hardest puzzle in Spire, and possibly in the game, that has me intrigued as well. Oh. 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 Hey, they're all on. They're all on. So I was supposed to max it out. So it's maxed out. They're all off. Right? So we're good? Alright, hang on. I'm gonna close that. I... Um, let me go look over here again. Oh, would you look at that? I still feel like that crystal isn't on, but I can also see that one possibly being the broken one. I don't know. Still don't have anything there, but look at this. We have everything from the two that needs to be on only.
this is connected to this. The only way to do it would possibly be have to go over back to the other area and turn off all the crystals from the other area. But then if you look here, it's not connected. This seems separate. I'm going to go back downstairs and or downstairs or wherever the heck we're we're we're, we're going to we're going to go back and 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 I I want to see what's different now. I mean, it's one crystal that I accidentally popped back on. I mean, I didn't know that you could max it out by giving it too much power. I thought if you gave it too much power like over the number exact number that it would zero out and not let you use that protocol. Not let you use that number. This is interesting. I still haven't been listening to frequencies. I need to put focus on frequencies. That'll be the next video. If, if I can't figure anything out with what this is, then I need to focus in on frequencies in the next video. Like, I hear a frequency right here. Right now, there's a frequency that I'm hearing. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. Minus thirty-six. So there should be only ten left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Why aren't the other crystals on that were on earlier? What did I do to mess that up? Is it important anymore that the crystals in the other area are on? I feel that it is important. And if it is that important that the other crystals are all on, then I literally have to revert back everything to go and turn those on. But then if I come back and I make changes, does that turn those off? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I feel like there's a tenth one right in there. So I gave us one more, which doesn't do us any good because I need ten more. How would I get us ten more crystals? Why would I get us ten more crystals? If I only need. In the next video, we're looking into frequency tones. I feel like I've at least gotten some head knowledge that I've added up a little bit. But yeah, this is <laughs> this is a dead video. I'm sorry, I don't I don't have anything in addition to to what I got going on here. And I got to tell you, one of the things that I absolutely hated the most in one of the previous videos that I did was needing to use math to balance things out. I think it was in Riven where that was important. I did not enjoy that. Um, next video, we're focusing in on frequency tones. That's going to do it for me. Keep it crispy, my friends. First Tim 412 and Galatians 6, 9 through 10 is very interesting as well. Go check that out. I love you guys. We'll see you next time right here on Legacy Studio. Humongous thanks once again to all my amazing Patrons who support me. Patrons, 
<laughs> channel members who support me, my historians. You guys rock. I deeply appreciate it. We'll see you next time. I hope that I've annoyed you enough to make you come back for more. <laughs> we'll see you then. Bye, friends.